Let's talk about benthic macroinvertebrates. Benthic means bottom. In this case, the bottom of a stream. Macro means you can see it with your eye. An invertebrate means it doesn't have a backbone, like a snail, a worm, or a dragonfly. Many aquatic benthics are in the nymph or larva stage of life, the stage after the egg but before the adult. Many of these benthics will become the adult insects we see flying around in the summer. For example, all dragonflies start their life off underwater before emerging as winged adults. Why do we care about benthics, though? Different benthics can tolerate or handle different levels of pollution. Some are very tolerant, others are more sensitive, and some are in the middle or moderately tolerant. Sensitive benthics can tolerate very little pollution in the water. Therefore, we find them in places where the water is healthy and clean. Tolerant benthics can be found in all types of water quality, but we find them more frequently in streams that are not so healthy because the water is too dirty for sensitive benthics. Moderate benthics can tolerate some pollution, but not a lot. Over the years, scientists have identified which benthics are tolerant, which are moderately tolerant, and which are sensitive. With this information, we can determine the health of a stream by which benthics live there. This is Eric, and today we're going to be teaching him how to collect benthics. First, we need to make sure we have all of our equipment. Eric, do you have your boots? Great! How about your benthic net? Uh-oh, looks like you don't have it. All right, here you go. We use our benthic net, also called a D-net, to sample different habitats throughout the stream. A habitat is an area that is the natural home for an animal, plant, or other organism. Some benthics like snags, as shown here. Others like vegetation hanging over the stream bank, or slow pools. Some like fast-moving riffles, think small rapids you see in whitewater rivers. We try to sample as many different habitats in a stream as possible to make sure we get all the different benthics living there, making sure that our net is facing upstream. Eric, wait! That's downstream. This way, when we put our net on the bottom of the stream and we do our benthic shuffle, we can make sure our benthics flow into the net and we get our sample. Once we have our sample, we dump everything into a big pan of water. Then we take out the big leaves, sticks, and rocks. Even though benthic macroinvertebrates are macro, they're still pretty tiny. So, Eric, what are you doing? Remember, benthics are small, so we need to make sure we look at each leaf carefully before we toss them out. In this sample, we found a number of different benthics, including tupulids, caddisflies, dragonflies, stoneflies, mayflies, and even dobsonflies. We know that stoneflies, mayflies, dobsonflies, and some caddisflies are very sensitive to pollution. This means that this stream is probably pretty healthy. Unfortunately, this is not the case for many of our streams. Things like litter and pet waste make many of our streams unhealthy. What can you do to keep our streams clean?